After much YouTubing and dreaming, I decided to take on the task of painting the hood of my car using spray paint, as in a rattle can spray paint. I chose a high gloss rust oleum for this, as my ultimate goal would be to brighten up the entire car with this color. My expectations were high. If you've ever seen others do this job, you know that you can get some pretty decent results using this method, and it's a whole lot cheaper than taking it to a shop. So I began by sanding the whole car down with 600 grit on an orbital sander. I definitely rushed this as I decided mid-sand to go ahead and paint the hood this same evening, which was not my original plan. This was my first mistake. I recommend taking more time with the sand and using body filler wherever needed. That was my second mistake. I did not use any body filler and was relying entirely on the paint to fill the low spots. Keep in mind, I did not use any primer. I wiped the hood down with acetone, i.e. my wife's nail polish remover. Three coats of high gloss white covered the hood to my satisfaction, and this was about the entire can. After I began the spray, I realized why you don't paint in the cold. It's about 28 degrees outside, and this paint globbed on terribly. This was my third mistake. But I'd heard wonders about wet sanding and compounding to get rid of orange peel and other inconsistencies in the paint. I wet sanded with 1500 grit and 2000 grit. I compounded by hand and finished by waxing, hoping for a nice glossy finish. All right, paint is done. Uh, we sanded it down first, painted, and then now we've done the wet sand, which took out some of the orange peel, uh, but you can see here all of these leftover pits in here. Along the edges here, I got it nice and thick, so it seems to have filled those in better, uh, but all over the place here, and then I've got discoloration, these real deep pits here. Focus. And of course, the giant scratch down the middle, which I just neglected to fill. Um, so now we're gonna compound and wax and see what kind of results we can get out of this. So to recap, we sanded it down with 600 grit sandpaper, wiped it down with soap and water and a terry cloth. Uh, did not use any body filler, so there's still some cracks in there. Uh, it was about 28 degrees outside when I sprayed, so there's a lot of pitting and globbing and the paint just did not come out great. Um, and then uh, we just wet sanded and compounded. Wet sand was with 1500 grit and then 2000 grit. I don't know if that's correct or not. Uh, compounded uh, and then we've got a little haze on the hood right now um, I'm about to wipe that off and then wax it and then here you can see the haze I'm talking about all the little swirl marks um, I think uh, if I were to do this again I'll definitely do it with a buffer uh, to try and get a little bit better uh, coverage and to save my shoulder a bit um, let's see here's uh, here's that giant crack I was talking about I definitely should have uh, throwing some body filler in there to even that out. And then here's some of the pitting that you can see. I can't tell if that's from uh, uh, the paint drying weird and, and cracking. So if you get real close, you can see some strange behavior in the paint there. Um, or, uh, or if it's just because it was so cold that, uh, that it just globbed on weird. There's some spots on here that I am pretty happy with. Uh, definitely like here in the creases um, where we got it on nice and thick, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get that nice and smooth. Uh, I, this area is looking quite promising here. Well, I thought, maybe not. Um, I'm gonna wipe down this haze uh, and then I'll throw some wax on um, and buff that off and see what kind of results we can get. Wax is on. Um, 
I don't know how much it's gonna help. It's uh, it's pretty orange peely and it's it's uh, pretty hazy on there. I'm not even sure I got all of the compound off. It left uh, a pretty good haze on there. Again, I think if I do this again, I'll do it with a buffer, which will uh, help a lot. I think that'll uh, help to accomplish um, the results I'm looking for that and then I don't I'm not gonna spray in 28 degree weather again now there wasn't uh, there wasn't a whole lot of information on YouTube about what happens when you spray in in very cold weather so maybe this will at least be uh, a resource for some of you out there um, and then of course there are gonna be ways to mend the mistakes and to uh, get a better surface than I have um, but uh, you know, you live and you learn. Just a few more minutes once the wax dries. I'm gonna buff that off uh, just by hand again. And uh, we'll give you a good look at the results and uh, my analysis of how we did. So here it is, all waxed and buffed, and it is just terrible. I uh, definitely did not get all the compound off, so what happened was I got a good layer of wax on there, and it has done a great job at protecting all that dried compound in the paint. So what I'm going to need to do is give it a good wash with soap and water. This little area here. Uh, that doesn't even look like it got sanded very well. Um, but you know, these are these are results that you're just gonna have to accept or put more work into when you're spraying this cold and when you rushed the preparation process like I did. So you can really see the color difference uh, between the, the fresh paint that I put on and then the factory uh, color here, this nice uh, bone white on this old 240. Um, I kind of like the results. I'm I'm reasonably satisfied with the color. The hood is in much better condition than it was when I first got the car, so I'm thankful for that. Um, next time I do this, I'm gonna take a lot more time sanding and preparing, uh, and I'm gonna spray in uh, 60 degree weather, 70 degree weather, somewhere the, where the paint doesn't glob up the way it did with this. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this, and uh, let me know if you have any questions.